Oh, that's unfortunate. On my mat and everything. I thought about showing you guys, like, what happened, moving my camera, but it's not worth it. We're here for the gaming. My pants are all wet. It's on my screen. Top of Fini was covered by a drip of coffee. Was that Pikachu in your background? I don't even know. It's like an old lunchbox thing we have. I really don't know. Man, I need, like, a new shirt and everything. What the heck? This is not gaming. Um, okay, um... Yeah, look, look at the mug now. There's no, there's no handle anymore. The handle just left. I don't, I don't know what I was supposed to do about that. Okay, so looking at this, Metagross Mence is really good. Amoongus is also really good. And I want to say Polytoad's a great Parish Song and Gamer. Gamer. Uh, but also Porygon's pretty cool, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Porygon. Yeah, let's go with that. Man, this sucks. I can't even believe. Look at this. Look at my mat. I had a white mat. I had a white mat that is now not white anymore. Unfortunate. Yep. F for the mat. I mean, I don't even... It could be an album cover. You're not wrong. I mean, it's a pretty cool... Because you know what happened is I had the mug in my hand and the cup just gave up. Right, so the cup like landed and then the water, sh well, not water, it's coffee. They like shot out, which is, it was crazy. I'm 3-0 so far. Listen, I, uh, I lost a Quagsire. Not too bad. Hey, what, 3 is a good spot to be, I was saying. Yeah, I mean, like, I wish I could have shown you. I, wi I wish you could have seen it. If, if I was at my other setup, you would have seen it. Sleeves are rolling up. Oh, it's wet. It's like my my shoulder is wet. Not my shoulder. Whatever. It's stupid. Uh, don't even know what to say. Don't even know what to say here. So Steel Spike is good, but they've got the Zapdos. And I feel like Porygon's a good switch in here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to normal protect. Okay. And switch to Porygon. Let's see what happens. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't know. My brain is fried now. Because the coffee decided it was time to go. Everybody correcting grammar in the chat. I love it. They go to Feeny. Yeah, yes, that is it. Okay, so yeah. My, my coffee realized that I wasn't damp enough like Quagsire. And it was like, hey man. What if, what if I just uh, helped you out there? Gave you a little assistance. That'd be pretty funny. Alright, so best case scenario. No, that wasn't even that good. Special attack boost? Nah, physical attack boost. They do Dynamax. I mean, I'm kind of assuming we're just going to see like an airstream into Porygon. Maybe. Oh boy, Wigglytuff. You got a Salt Vest on that thing? We protect. I mean, it'd be cool if he max lightnings my Metagross. Not if he max flares. Airstream is the worst option of the three. Though I guess we do live another, but he's probably just gonna double up into the P2, I guess. Or if I had to guess, he's doubling up into the P2. But what that means is I can actually manage this uh, by going for a spike into Feeny and a Trick Room. I mean, I'll try to Trick Room. It's not gonna happen. Unless this dude randomly just decides not to double up on my P2. Which I don't even know why he wouldn't. So I'm Dynamaxing. I mean, my end game here, right? My end game is a Sporamungus that can't be stopped. That physically cannot be stopped. That is, that is the idea. Hopefully we can get into that situation. 
Uh, getting to that situation though requires a bit of a bit of clever maneuvering, is what I'll say. It is unfortunate that they airstream me turn one, and the second airstream shows me that they're probably just gonna click muddy water. Uh, if we dodge muddy water, that'd be funny, but not necessary. I should have led Porygon, honestly. Yeah, there's moon blasting. Smart play, smart play. I'm so tilted from that coffee. You guys couldn't even you couldn't even begin to imagine. So the thing is, is they should respect my Amoongus, but the the trends here are showing that they don't. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mindstorm the za that the Feeny. I'm gonna mindstorm the Feeny to set up for next turn, and then I'm gonna protect. Yeah, I'm. That's the thing. I gotta figure out what to do with that because I said I would do them today. I said I would do them today, but then now we've got the tournament, so I really gotta figure out when I'm gonna be doing those. Cause like taking away from time that I'm playing the tournament is like you know a game or two. I decided last night that I was playing in this, so I, I it was like after a stream I decided I was playing in this. I didn't even I didn't even account it into my schedule, honestly. So we Oh they protect. Okay, so we're getting some protects all around. Protects all around. I'm assuming that means they're just airstreaming Amoongus. Like they're max lightninging. That doesn't make any sense. Well we're we're changing the terrain last. Which is what matters here. We're changing the terrain last. On the Fini. Setting the psychic terrain. Now. I feel reasonably good about mindstorming the Zapdos and sporing the Fini slot. Cause I've got my I've got my Ments in the back, and I think my Ments can pretty reasonably 1v1 a a Landorus. Especially if I've gotten Amoongus to help help out there. Which I'm hoping to have, as I said. I'm definitely hoping to have one of those. Uh, it'll beat Heatran, it'll beat Kartana. So the only concern is a Porygon, which I'll be able to spore. So I am chilling with that. So we're going to spore Feeny. Now, where it goes south real quick is when that Feeny goes to a Kartana and Zapdos protects. But we're going to hope that doesn't happen. Either of those things happening is okay, but if both of them happen... That's where it gets bad real fast. Uh, this is also one of those matches where, like, if I had a if I had a game two, this dude would be over. This dude would have zero chance. Hopefully, it's a Landers. It is a Landers. Okay, I mean that's questionable at best. So he's going for the intimidate. Doesn't matter. The question is, does Zapdos have protect? If Zapdos doesn't protect, I'm a little sad. If Zapdos does not, it does. Okay. So he's protecting. Hello, what's going on? We're playing a tournament today. Uh, the Mindstorm is... It'll do a bit of damage, but not a lot, because we don't have policy. We get the Spore. Hmm. I mean, what I'm thinking now is we just Protect Spore Zapdos. Like, Protect Spore, and then... Zen the, Zen the Zapdos and Energy Ball Lando. Because I have a Physical Defense Boost. I don't have a Special Defense Boost. So if he has Heat Wave here, Heat Wave does just knock out Metagross. Uh, so we, we can't have that happening. We absolutely cannot have that happening. The way they're playing it, it feels like they've got a Porygon in the back. Just the way they brought, or the way they preserved Feeny's Misty terrain. Kind of feels like they've got a Feeny. Because Landers wouldn't be that useful. They know it's not that useful. That's the Feeny. What? That's a that's a throw. That's a big throw. Unless they like hurricane confuse my Amoongus. That would suck. Cause I'm protecting. So Zen's unconfused. Wait, wait, I'm Metagross. Wait, what? what? They have protect and roost! They have protect and roost! Alright, well, that's a great play, I guess. 
Uh, so we're gonna meteor mash Feeny and protect, I guess. Then, I mean, it means it's okay. Listen, that's a very good play. If your name's Verlissify, you'd probably make fun of my opponent for that. That same situation happened with me versus Yuri at uh, 2018 Worlds, and Verlis made fun of me, saying, "I didn't. How do you Thunderbolt there? How? What? How do you? In your right mind, how do you Thunderbolt there? Why didn't they earthquake themselves? Great question. Great question. How do you, in your right mind, Thunderbolt there? Oh my gosh." If, you're, if the Zapdos gets put to sleep ever, they just lose. I've got Stone Edge. I've got Stone Edge Mets. Maybe they don't know that I've got Stone Edge, though, I guess. Because I think that Dual Wing Beat takes out Feeny, right? I think Dual Wing Beat takes out Feeny. Because I've got a lot of attack investment. Let me support Zap. I don't know. This is such a weird spot. Th this game has been so interesting. They should have Earthquake themselves, though. Why goggles over AV? Uh, I like having the goggles for the for the sun matchup for Venu. Venu and Amoongus. Also, on the initial build of this team, I had Dragon Tail, and I wanted to avoid. Uh, I wanted to be able to Dragon Tail Amoongus Trick Room stuff. Feeny switches, which is awkward. I assume they're hurricaning. If they just Thunderbolt again, uh, I'm I'm not with this man's agenda, but. Hurricanes. I mean, if I'm if I'm to get back in this game, ah, uh, interesting. He's no no. Listen, he's shown to be life orb. There's no way he's not life orb. We all know he's life orb. Okay, now I can't hit a dual wing beat. I cannot hit a dual wing beat to save my life. But it's time to click Stone Edge, everyone. We are definitely slower. Being slower than Lando means there's Scarf, though. Stone Edge. It does half, which is good. That's what I needed to see. Energy Ball. Probably doing a... Th this should be a 3-8 KO, right? Ah, that's really close to a 3-8 KO. I need them to both not wake up this turn. Then we have a, then we have a shot of winning. Then we have a fine shot. Zap stays asleep. Now, if Lando wakes up, it goes for U-turn, I'm pretty sure. Or Rock Slide. Love that. Love that for me. What avoided? Ah, uh, I didn't see the name. Amoongus avoids. Ah. We hit a stone edge through a rock slide flinch. It doesn't knock out though. Of course not. Energy ball. I should I guess I should have spored Lando, but that was a first turn wake. So Goggles should nullify and intimidate, dude. I wish. Uh his rock slide did a hundred damage though, basically. So there's no way I no way I get out of this unless he misses. I need him to miss. I need him to miss Rock Slide now. Zapdos stays asleep. He needed to stay asleep and me to and me to dodge a Rock Slide. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Unless that's a weird roll, which it shouldn't be, unfortunately. Alright, well, we're 1-2, two, boys. We're 1-2. I, I fumbled this so hard by not leading Porygon. Switching Porygon, it, like, literally every everything that I could have done wrong in a, in a, one, in a best-of-one situation, I did it wrong immediately. Immediately. Like, I, I basically handed him every single thing he needed to win this game. And then he also ended up being Scarf Rock Slide Landers. Which, uh, if he wasn't Scarf Rock Slide, I still had a chance there. But. We'll make the comeback, it's fine. I started tournaments worse. Also, it's best of one, so I, I gotta be honest, my hopes were not that high, unfortunately. How many rounds? Uh, you well, so technically it's fifteen. Okay, technically it's fifteen, but you can only play till eight. So odds are you don't get all fifteen games in. Most likely you don't get all fifteen games in. At the rate I'm going, I'm probably gonna hit like thirteen. Um, but you know, maybe maybe some of my games are faster. We we'll never know. We we'll never know until we get there. <laughs> 